What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel for another Starfield build guide. This one is going to be a ship I call Rafa's Rain. And I gave it that name just because the front end of this thing reminds me of Raphael, the Ninja Turtle. Doesn't that front end look like a Ninja Turtle? Sort of, kind of, I don't know, whatever. Anyhow, we're gonna break this thing down for you build it from the bottom to the top and present you with a nice easy to follow snap to build guide give me one second to break it apart and we'll begin the build all right this is going to be a really easy build the only specialty part that you're going to need for this build is the shipbed 200 landing bay from teo astroneering everything else will be available over at your outpost landing pad with ship builder so after you have your landing bay make your way to your outpost and you're going to begin this build by Placing down your landing bay. Make sure the doors are facing the aft of your build. Then on the fore end of that, connect the Teo companionway one by one mid, followed by a Teo two by one workshop mid, and a Teo all in one berth two by one mid. In front of that, a Teo braking engine. Next, bring out a Pinpoint 3G landing gear port 4 and attach that to the front connector. Duplicate it and flip it and attach one on the other side. And then bring out a Deimos bracer and attach that and duplicate that and bring one to the other side. Next, duplicate the 3G landing gear 4. Change the variant to a mid and attach one right here and then duplicate it, attach it over, and duplicate it, attach it over, duplicate it again, change the variant to an aft and attach that. Same thing on the other side, duplicate the four, change the variant and attach it, duplicate it, move it over and attach it, duplicate it, move it over and attach it, duplicate, move it back, change the variant and attach it. <clears throat> Finally, duplicate one more of the mids bring it in position right here it's not going to want to attach so what you're going to do is duplicate the uh, all-in-one and then you can attach this to the bottom it'll snap in flip it twice and cancel do the same on the other side duplicate it and then snap it in on the bottom flip it twice and cancel and now what we're going to do is bring out a Deimos hole A from your structural. Stack two on top of each other, select the bottom one. I'm sorry, don't select the bottom one, select the top one. And then select your landing gears that are, that are on the bottom and duplicate them and they'll bring them up. Then you could delete the one on the bottom. And you could delete one of these Deimos holes. Go ahead and keep those other two out for now. Next, bring out a Nova wing port, attach it to the bracer, duplicate it, flip it, and attach it over to the other side. Next, bring out a Contiki bridge, and before you can place that down, bring out a, well, go ahead and duplicate your all-in-one berth up. Oh, by the way, you could delete that bottom berth. You don't need that down there no more. And then you're going to attach your Contiki bridge onto this all-in-one berth. And now you can go ahead and delete the all-in-one and duplicate your bridge. It'll drop down for you. Next, I'm going to use a Teo Engineering Bay 3x1. And I'm going to attach that right here. Next to that, I'm going to put in a tail companionway one by one mid. Now, if you want, you could use two different two by one halves right here, but I'm using the one by one on top of a one by one, which is going to guarantee my ladder. My ladder is going to go right there because of these two by ones. They'll, they'll force that ladder issue. Okay, and then uh, next you could bring out a Deimos hole A and put that on top of your landing bay. 
and then bring out your shield and put that on top of that. And then you can bring out a supernova engine. And uh, actually, you can't attach that just yet. But you can go ahead and bring it out. Okay, let's move these out of our way real quick. All right, for this next part, we're going to bring out a Deimos bumper. You're going to attach it right here. It's not going to attach because the landing gear below. But snap it into place right here and flip it twice. And then cancel. And then go ahead and duplicate that twice. Th grab this one, change it to a mid, and attach it here. Flip it twice and cancel. And then grab this one, change the variant to an aft. Snap it in right here, flip it twice, and cancel. Next, you can go ahead and grab all three of these and duplicate them. Just set them over here. Then you're going to select them, flip them, snap them into place, flip twice, cancel. Select it, flip it, snap it, flip it twice, cancel. Select it, flip it, snap it, flip it, flip it, cancel. And now we've got that going for us. And now bring out a Deimos hole A off of here. Duplicate one, place it right there. And grab yourself a Shroud Engine Bracer A. You want to place that here, duplicate it over, and duplicate another one. And then you can bring in a um, tail end cap port. Duplicate that, flip it, bring one to the other side. And then bring out a Nova cowling and snap that. Oh, actually, that's not going to snap in the front yet. Bring in a supernova engine and attach that so that you have one attach point above. And what you're going to do is bring in a spine A, tail spine A, and then duplicate that and bring it over here. Once that's in place, duplicate all three of those and bring them to the other side, and then select all four of your Teo spines and this bottom Deimos hole, and we're gonna do a duplicate down. Now delete this bottom hole, and you could delete these top two spines on both sides. Okay, and now bring out a Nova Cowling 2L, change the variant to a TM, and attach that on top here, and then duplicate it, change the variant to a, T, a 2LTF, and attach that in front, and then you're gonna... Actually, no, that's it, you're done with that. Um, now grab a Deimos bumper, attach it onto your supernova, duplicate it and flip it and attach it to the other side. Then I want you to grab both of those bumpers and both of these cowlings, duplicate them, and bring on those to the other side. And let's see here. We're going to do weapons at the end. So now for the top. Grab a Teo Cowling 4 and attach that up to the top just behind your bridge. Uh, well, you could go ahead and delete this Deimos hole right now. You don't need that no more. And then grab a Teo Top A 2x1. Oh, you know what, guys? I'm sorry. Shoot. We needed to drop these down with that. Bring, that, bring your hole A back. Sorry. And what I want you to do really quickly here is delete this and this. And then go ahead and select both of these um, 
engine bracers and your bottom Deimos hole and duplicate down and then delete that. And now you could delete all three of these parts on top. And then next what I want you to do is duplicate this over and then select all here and attach down. So again, right here, duplicate, attach it over and then select all and drop it down. Okay. Now, go ahead and bring in your Teo 2x1 top A. Uh, I'm using a living quarters. You could put whatever you want right here. Okay, now for this, at this point, we're going to be merging in our reactor, our grab drive, all on top of this Deimos hole and shield. So grab both of these and duplicate them. Well, and you're going to want three stacked right here. And then go ahead and grab your reactor. I'm using the SF40 sheared flow reactor. Select that and this bottom Deimos hole, then duplicate down. And now we want to drop it one more time so it's inside this Deimos hole. So go ahead and select it, select this Deimos hole, and duplicate down. Now you can delete these top two and these bottom two Deimos holes. And next we're going to bring out our grab drive. And I'm using uh, the J52 Gamma. And you're going to just attach that above the reactor and select it with the bottom Deimos hole and duplicate down and then select the bottom Deimos hole and the bottom grab drive and duplicate down. Delete your extras. And now you have your reactor grab drive fuel and a Deimos hole merged into one. And the final piece here is going to be a Teo control station two by one. Go ahead and bring one of those out. You can delete these Deimos holes. We're going to snap this into place right here. And then we're going to flip it. Or we're going to change the variant and change it back and then cancel. And now this two by one is clipped into the in, in over here. For me, I don't care because I'm not going to go into there at all. Right. I just want this because it gives me four crew and my my cockpit only gives me six. So I want two, at least two more crew stations, so I'm putting this here. Now, if you want to avoid the clipping, you could just delete the living quarters and put your 2 by one here. And then you could bring out, instead of that 2 by one bring out a Teo 1 by one top A. You can bring out a one by one top A. You could put that right here. And then you still want to cover this. So what you do is put a Deimos hole on top, select that, select this, and then duplicate down. And now you still got some, some color coverage. Additionally, if you want to maintain the look, you can duplicate this, put it here, change this one to like a storeroom and then duplicate that down. And now you still got those rounded edges and there will be clipping in there, but it doesn't affect your main halves. Like you don't ever have to walk into that. You can literally just avoid going into that storeroom ever. You know what I mean? But you still got those rounded edges. So you could leave it like that. I'm going to actually go ahead and leave it like that. And, and then we could go ahead and delete these extra Deimos holes. And then next what we're going to do is we're going to put one more. Actually, we don't even need to do that. Bring out a Deimos Bracer A and attach that here. Duplicate it. Bring it to the other side. And then bring out another Nova Wing port side. Duplicate that and flip it. And you're going to attach that over here. Let me move these out of the way. Just attach that here. You could bring out your Connect Pro Docker and attach that right here. And now you're going to have one single ladder going up your one by ones. One ladder only. From the bottom, you're going to enter in from here and go to here through a door and then single ladder up straight to the Docker. 
All right, so now we could put in engines. So we have we have two on our outsides. Um, and we want four of these. So what we're going to do is we're going to attach one here. Okay, we're going to duplicate it down. And then we're going to select the top one in this bottom Deimos hole and duplicate down again. Now delete that. Now you have two right here. So we have four total engines. Now you can bring out an M50 Ulysses helium tank. Attach that right right here over the over the Deimos at, over the Deimos uh, bracer. Flip it twice and cancel, and then duplicate that. Flip it to the other side. Attach it. Flip it twice and cancel. Okay. Now this last piece is optional. It's going to give you clipping in your cockpit. For me, I don't really care. It doesn't affect nothing when I'm flying in third person. Snap it in place right here. Flip it twice and cancel. That gives you like that Raphael mask Ninja Turtle look. I like it. Okay. Now it's time. It's, it's the fun part. Weapons. So what we're going to do is just move these off. And we're going to move these off. Let's bring these Deimos holes over here a little closer to work with. All right, so weapons are all up to you. You could do any weapons you want. For me, I'm going to be using PB300 auto alpha turrets. I'm going to be using Atli 280C missile launchers. And I'm going to be using Obliterator 250 MEV alpha turrets. My turrets are going to go here, so I'm going to duplicate. I'm going to put down an equipment plate and then put on a turret. Then I'm going to select that equipment plate and duplicate, and I'm going to bring one to the other side, and I'm going to face that the other direction. Then I'm going to duplicate that. Oh, I didn't get my, land. I didn't get my equipment plate. And I'm going to put that over here. This one I'm going to turn. That one's going to be rear facing. So my turrets are side and rear facing. Okay? So now I can go ahead and take this and snap it in place and flip it twice and cancel. And then I could bring this one and put it in place and flip it twice and cancel. And now for this one... I actually want it down on this Deimos hole down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it, the equipment plate, and my bottom Deimos hole, and I'm going to duplicate down. Delete the extra hole and delete these top parts. And now my, my turret's down inside. It's going to shoot rear facing out of my engine, which is totally fine by me. Okay, now for your next weapon. The next weapon is going to go on this. I'm going to bring a Deimos hole and put one on here. And I'm going to duplicate this up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach one of these on the bottom on this side. Then I'm going to duplicate that. And you can't get one over here. So I'm going to bring one up. And I'm going to attach it to this inside right there okay now I'm gonna select this actually I'm gonna duplicate one of these real quick I'm gonna select my bottom Deimos hole and this top part and I'm gonna duplicate that's gonna give me a drop down delete your extra Deimos hole and delete this top Nova mount and now I have both weapons here but you have two Nova weapon mounts right here so what you do is just select the weapon mount and move it out of the way, and now you could delete this one. Okay, now you could put this in place and duplicate it and bring it to the other side. Now that's my four PB300s. Next, I'm going to bring out a Nova Cowling 2L, and I'm going to attach that right here. And then I'm going to duplicate that and flip it. And it's going to drop on the bottom. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to do the same on the other side. I'm going to bring this over here, and I'm going to duplicate it and flip it. Okay. Now it looks like that. So now I could bring in my last weapon. And in this case, I'm going to be using Atli 280C missile launchers. Okay, I'm going to put one here. And then what I'm going to do is duplicate this and bring one over to the other side. And now I want three of these, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this off real quick. I'm going to put my Deimos hole right here. Oh, you know what? I messed up on this side. This needs to be here. Put it here. Duplicate it and flip it. The other side's right. This one's good. This one was wrong because I had that Deimos hole sitting right here. Okay, so now I'm going to put my Deimos hole right here. I'm going to put my equipment plate on top. And now I could delete this hole and duplicate that down. And now I'll put my second missile launcher here and my third one on top. And I'm going to duplicate this one down on top of this, that other one. So I have two right here. So delete this in the equipment plate. And I have two missiles here. And one over here, that's 12 weapon power, that's maximum. Now I could grab this, put it back in place, flip it twice, cancel, duplicate it, and then bring it to the other side, flip it twice, cancel. And now I could delete these. And now you could just go ahead and assign your weapons. And you should now have no errors and your ship is complete. So at this point, all you would need to do is uh, give it a name. I'm calling this Rafa's Reign because it reminds me of the Ninja Turtle Raphael for some reason. It's the front end. And you're done. Now, if you want to add cargo, because we only have 360 cargo, as I go over in all of my builds, cargo is the easiest thing to add to any ship. So, for example, if we want to add some Galleon S204s, All you need to do is put them on here, merge them in, always merge them into your grab drives. It's the easy place to hide them. So I'm going to just duplicate one of these out real quick and bring one up. Select the bottom and select the cargo and duplicate it down. And I could delete this top one. And then if you wanted another one, just select that and this, duplicate down. Oh, it's going to go up, obviously, but that's okay. Select this bottom one and duplicate down. And there you go. So now you got cargo, right? But we have an error. It's landing gear. We don't have enough landing gear now to support that cargo. Minimum landing gear count. So... What you do, very, very simple. These are only one thrust. So let's select a few of these. Let's select three. One, two, three. And this bottom one, duplicate them down. And now let's duplicate all those up. So let's go uh, one, two, three. One, Two, three. Select the top for an upwards duplication. Okay, now we have six in the middle. Let's see if it's enough. Two errors. We're good. So that fixes the landing gear. Now you can just delete these three parts. And you got your blue nominal check mark. And so just like that, we have 1,600 shields. 3320 on the cargo, max crew, max jump, and 130 speed. We did lose some mobility with the cargo. 
So if you still wanted 100 mobility, you could always remove one of these. And that still gives you the uh, 100 mobility. With that, you could probably get rid of some landing gear. Let's get rid of one and keep it even. Let's get rid of the middle one over here. Still no air. Let's try for two more. One. There we go. We got rid of four more landing gears. And so, you know, 1,800 cargo, max crew, max jump, max mobility, 130 speed. It's a great ship. We got obliterator turrets facing the aft port and starboard side of our ship. And then we got PB-300s and missiles for our manual attack. It's an awesome ship. I hope you enjoyed this build. I hope it gave you some inspiration and some ideas on how to build ships, how to merge parts, and how to make things work the way you want them to. If this video did help you and you found it enjoyable and you liked it, maybe uh, drop me a like. I'd appreciate it, and it helped my channel out for sure. There's going to be a playlist popping up on the screen with some more build guides. Feel free to check that out. And I will catch you on the next one. Stay safe and peace out.